Good morning, New Life Fellowship. You may, be, you may be seated. I'm so happy today. Pastor Samadhi, you call me your family. Uh, we love you so much. And we have been uh, family and friends for almost the beginning of New Life Fellowship. So when I come, I want to I want to share with you the best message I could ever share. So I believe I have that message. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk to you this morning on the title of My Very Best Friend. <laughs> but before that, uh, uh, can I share with you some wonderful good news that happened to our family this week? Would you rejoice with us? A few days ago, my son, well, let me show you the picture. He proposed to a very beautiful young lady. It's my son Samuel. And Mickey. Samuel and Mickey have been friends for a long time. But they were just friends. But Samuel wanted to wanted to be more than just friends. He loved Mickey for a long time. <laughs> but Mickey says just friends. We'll be good friends. Samuel says, I want to be more than just good friends. I want you to be my best friend. No, just good friends. For many years. But finally, <laughs> Jesus opened Mickey's eyes. <laughs> And she stepped over just being friends. <laughs> and love came into her heart. <laughs> and a few days ago, Samuel asked Mickey, will you be my best friend in all of life? <laughs> and she said yes. <laughs> There's one more picture. <laughs> Is that beautiful? Is that beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> Wherever in the world, love is beautiful to us. But away got I. We all want to experience love. We all want to have a friend that loves us. But today, today, I want to tell you the most wonderful good news in all of the world. 
คือช่างปรับลงในบางปนในดำนั่งหล่อได้หล่อเลิกเก็บบพอดในเลิกไปพบโลกนี้ God loves you ดำนั่งหล่อนั่นคือพระเยซูมาแช่ตรงสลายลงเนี่ยบางปน And God wants to have a personal relationship with you. Hi, b r o t h n c h a n g mien tam nay tam nong doi t o l c h i m u i luk nay bang phaon. That is the most wonderful message of the Bible. Nang hai k u c h i p r a b a n t u d a l o o b a n p o t n a k r o n g p r a k o m p i That the God of the universe. k i v a n c h a n a dai p r a c h i m a c h a c h i m a c h a n a i sakal lok tam mul. The King of all glory. k u c h i สดมหาสัตว์ได้เมียนกรุบเตียงประเจสตา He owns everything แต่พระองค์ให้กุจีมาแช่กรรมสัตว์ในวัยต่างอ๋อ And he proposes to you เฮ้ยพระองค์แสบตายมาสนาสมสลายลงเนี่ยบางปน We have been talking as a church about relationships the last few weeks บ่ายกรมจนนบ่ายเยิ้งบานศักษาเมรียนเจียกสายได้เตะตรงตะนึงตำเนาตำนง And relationships is truly the most important thing in our life. ตำเนาตำนองตามปัจจุจีจำนวนหรือก็จีเรื่องได้สำคัญมาพอดในขนมชีวิตเราในบ่ายเย็นไม่ได้ Amen. Amen. บาดจึงยิ่งชายตอบ Amen. บาด More than money. บาดคือเมียนดำลายเชียงลอยกะทาบิกา More than possessions. ลอดดำเมียนดำลายเชียงตรอบสมบัติ More than good education. มีนดำไลชานเชียงกาอบรมตัวเต็ม More than success in business. มีนดำไลชานเชียงเพียบโจกใจนักนงจำนวนมาเยอะ Our relationships is the most valuable, important thing we have in life. คือตำแหน่งตำนองให้ได้เชื่อเรื่องมวยได้มีนดำไลจิตีบัมพอดนักนงชีวิตมาเยอะ But I want to tell you this morning. ประเด็นจังปราบลงในบัพพอนประเด็นนี้ That the most important Relationship in our life. นี่ยัยอัมพีตุ่มเนตตุ่มน้องได้สำคัญบัมพอดนักนงชีวิตบ่อยยิ่ง Is our relationship with God. คือชีตุ่มเนตตุ่มน้องเราเวียงยิ่งชีมวยนังเปรียชีมจ่า Amen. Amen. It is number one. คือชีเล็กมวยชีจมนักตีมวย It's more important than anything. คือเมียนสาระสำคัญเชียงเอาไว้ต่างอ่อนได้ยังเมียน Our relationship with God is more important than any relationship we have with anybody else. บ่าจังตุ่มเนตตุ่มน้องบ่าได้ยังเมียนจมูกนึงเปรี้ยวเมื่อเช้าคือสำคัญเชียงตุ่มเนตตุ่มน้องได้ยังเมียนเออตายติด And when we are when our relationship with God is healthy, นับเป็นได้ตุ่มเนตตุ่มน้องเออเยอะตุ่มเนตตุ่มน้องยังจมูกนึงเปรี้ยวเมื่อเช้ารังหมอมจัดสนัด When our relationship with God is number one priority in our life, นับเป็นตำแหน่งน้องมาเยี่ยงจมูกประชาชนมาแช่ท่านนักขนมอัดแต่เพียบจีเล็กมวยจีตีมวยนักจีวัดมาเยี่ยง Our relationship with God will affect and bless every other human relationship. จังกูเมียนในท่าตำแหน่งตำนองมาเยี่ยงจมูกนักประชาชนมาแช่นักเมียนพอลป่าปอลนักนักเชี่ยฮัตติปอลตะเลือตำแหน่งตำนองดัตไตเตียดระเวียงเยี่ยงจมูกนักเนตดัตไตเตียดได้ Amen. Amen. But when our relationship with God is out of order, when I no pay dial, t m n e t m n o b o y e n g chimui nung preach chima cha, mien phep, m n p r a k a d a i When our relationship with God is not healthy, no pay dial, t m n e t m n o b o y e n g chimui nung preach chima cha, man rung mom. The amazing thing is that it affects all of the rest of our relationships. Ku ko mien nai tha mien pal pa pal, avu chim mien te lu t m n e t m n o da tai tiet da yeng mien dai. So as we talk about the importance of relationships at New Life Fellowship, we want to talk about the good news that we have a very best friend. God has been good to me. I have many good friends. Wonderful friends. Pastor Sammy is a good friend. 
Pastor Mara is a good friend. I have so many good friends. I have a best friend. I'm blessed to have a best friend. My wife Shelly is my best friend. But I want to talk to you about my very best friend. My God. My Savior. The one who gave his life for me. When my heart was not interested in him. When my heart was closed. When I went away from him. He never gave up. He pursued me. He proposed to me. I want to be your very best friend. Let's read one, one verse. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. And it's an amazing verse of the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9. It says, God is faithful by whom you were called into fellowship of his son Jesus Christ our Lord. Wow. Let's look at three important words here. It's the foundation of our relationship with God. He is faithful. It means I can trust him. In your relationships. In your important relationships. For it to be a healthy, prosperous relationship, you absolutely need trust. Relationships Relationships is a relationships of trust. But us human beings have problems. No matter how much we love. No matter how much we say you're so special to me. We make mistakes. We do things that break trust. And you know you know our relationships of trying to heal our relationships. One of the most important part is trying to rebuild trust. But we can know today. God is faithful. He will never break trust. We can always trust him. With my life. With my future. I can trust him. The second word is that we were called. 
It means God called us. Another word is chose us. Think of it. God chose you. God wanted you. God loved you. Amen. Just for a few years, Samuel chose Mickey. He called Mickey. But Mickey didn't respond. <laughs> but Samuel didn't give up. Way more than that. God has chosen you. And he's pursuing you. And you may sometimes forget about God. And you may sometimes uh, get busy in life. But God has chosen you. And he's pursuing you. Can, can, can you believe it? And he comes. And he kneels before you. And says, Here's my life. Will you be my beloved? That's the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And he's invited us into a relationship. A relationship of love. Fellowship. Intimacy. I want to live with you. Wow. I want to say, I want to emphasize three things about this amazing relationship. The first thing is that a personal relationship with God is absolutely unique. There is nothing like it anywhere else in the world. You know, there's a lot of religions in the world. There's a lot of gods in the world. But our God is absolutely unique. In the sense that he wants to have a personal, loving relationship with me. In Japanese, the word unique is doktoku. Good. No, 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 no. Doktoku. Doktoku. Yeah, doktoku. Doktoku. It, <laughs> it means there's nothing else like it. Nothing can compare to it. There's only one, one good news that tells about a relationship with God. That's why we say Christianity is not a religion. It's a relationship. 
That's what God wants. Our God is a God of relationship. He is one God. The only God. The God that created everything. And God is a trinity. Is a father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. God is a God of relationship. When he created the earth, so many beautiful things. Look at creation, it's beautiful. Created animals. He created the birds. He created fish. He, he created the trees. And, and the mountains. And the ocean. All of creation. And then he created you. He created man. And he gave to man something unique. That no other part of creation has. The most wonderful part of you being human. That no animal has. No angel has. Was the capability of having a personal relationship with God. You are special. The most important part of me being human is my relationship with God. That's the greatest value. That's what you were created to do. Man lost that. So man is smart. Man could do many good things. Man can create. But if man does not discover a relationship with God, man has lost his most important purpose of living. You have the capacity to experience God. To feel God. To feel His presence. Why is our gathering here so wonderful? Because God's presence is here. And in worship, we feel Him. Did you know that a dog cannot feel God? If animals were here, 
They would just be walking around. But as humans, we stop. We feel God is here. He's touching me. He's telling me he loves me. He's telling me it's going to be okay. He's coming and making my heart clean. It's the most unique thing about our life. Also number two. A personal relationship with God is amazingly wonderful. It's wonderful. Everything that I experience in my relationship with God we need our relationship with God. Life is difficult. Our world is broken. There's problems. It's a dirty world. There's sorrow. And there's pain. And even this morning, I imagine there's many people that are going through some difficult times. But let me tell you, God is close by. We sang it this morning, he's Emmanuel. He's not just a God way up there. He's not just a God far, far away. He's come close. He came down to our world. This dirty world. This dark world. And he comes today and reminds you, I am your best friend. And in the journey of this life, so the many, many seasons of our life, it's amazingly wonderful. God is close to you. Let me read it for you. And he helps you in your brokenness. You know the thing about a close relationship. Let's say about my wife and I. Married for 38 years. <laughs> Horrible times. <laughs> Wonderful times. <laughs> Up and down. <laughs> And yet through 38 years, I know Shelly. I know her more than anybody else. Do you know Jesus as your very best friend knows everything about you? Do you know Jesus as your very best friend knows everything about you? He knows your dreams. He knows your past. He knows everything about all the mistakes you made. He knows the hurts that's in your heart. 
Ông đăng làm pi ca chữ chấp để bạn cả làng không chặt bao nhiêu. And he's a friend. Hai bảo ông còn nơi tay chia mất sầm lạnh bao nhiêu. He's the best friend. Ông chia mất sầm lạnh đã lo ô chiêng kê bầm phật. Oh no no no, he's the very best friend. Tại nhưng nhưng bà ba lợp pi đặt lo ô bầm phật về lợp pi lo ô bầm phật bao nhiêu người tiền. He not only knows you, he loves you. Bằng mình cần đặt score dương score một dương đấy bạn ấy bảo ông có sầm lạnh dương đại. You know another thing about relationships that you absolutely need? They say it's the most, one of the most important things about relationship. It's communication. Did you know that Jesus communicates? Do you know he has, he has some things to say to you? He has some things to say to you. Loving words. Words of hope. Words that say you are special. You're, you're beautiful. Your future is a future of hope. You may not see anything but darkness right now. But your best friend is here. He's a God of relationship. One of the wonderful things about a Christian life. Is that we can hear the word of Jesus. This Bible that he gave us. It's his words to you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> wow, he's my very best friend. Have you ever heard of the word that is kind of a universal word nowadays? I imagine most of the young people know this word. OMG. Oh. OMG. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I was surprised the other day. I was listening to some Japanese young people and they were saying, Oh my God. <laughs> you, oh my God. You know, when you're texting on your phone. OMG. <laughs> OMG. OMG. Think about it. So casual. But be from. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's in the Bible. This Tam word put, is in the Bible. There's a man in the Bible, David. God said, you're a man after my own heart. And David, one of David's favorite words. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's the, oh. Oh wow. Can you believe it? This is incredible. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means, it means there's no words to express my joy. Come Oh! He's my God. The God of the universe. He's my God. This King of Kings. He's my friend. The Lord of Glory. 
He's my lover. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, It's the greatest message of the Bible. That God loves you. And he desires to have a personal relationship with you. Before we finish, let's look at one more wonderful thing. Number three. Personal relationship with God is the most valuable gift. It's a gift. Most valuable. There's an English word that says priceless. It's priceless. But there's no price that you can put on it. It's so valuable that all the money in the world cannot possess it. All the hard work cannot achieve it. All of our religious actions cannot possess it. The way It's a gift. It's grace. It's amazing grace. We could never have a relationship with God. He's too great. I'm too small. He's too holy. I'm too sinful. And that is the problem of this world. Although we were created to have a relationship with God, man was separated from God. Because of sin, our relationship was broken. We rebelled against God. We made other gods that were not the true God. And yet God says, I cannot give up on them. I want relationship with them. The angels probably said, Almighty God, there's no way. Just destroy humanity. There's no way for them to come back to you. But Father God said to the angels, you're wrong. There's one way. Is that I become human and come to earth. And take their sin. And pay the price. I love them so much. God so loved the world. He gave His only begotten Son. And Jesus came to this earth. And He died a horrible death on that cross. And He took all of our sin. He paid the price. 
In the book of Hebrews, this is what it says about the cross. Jesus went to the cross joyfully. He suffered joyfully. And then at the end, he shouted, It is finished! I made a way! Father, man can be reconciled! And so we celebrate the cross. Our sins are forgiven. We are born again. We become the children of God. We receive the very righteousness of God. We are, we are given eternal life. Listen to me. Why? Why does God forgive sins? Why does God give you a new birth? And make you a child of God. Give you the righteousness of God. Give you eternity. Why? To have relationship. It's all to have a relationship. He loves you. He has chosen you. He is running after you. Came to this earth. God humbled himself. And he knelt down. And he says, come home. Samuel bought a ring for Mickey. Very, very expensive. But not priceless. God has a gift for you. It's priceless. I have a relationship with you. Wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let your love draw our hearts. Lord, we get so busy in life. So many things to do. Sometimes thinking that working for you is what we need to do. Lord, you're saying the same thing you said to Martha. Martha, Martha. The one thing that you need. The one thing I desire. Is a loving relationship with you. Lord, we say yes today. We say yes to you. And thank you that all heaven rejoices today. Lord, you are declaring to the hosts of heaven. He said yes. She said yes. Oh, Lord, we want to 
have a relationship with you. Lord, I pray for those that are going through difficult difficulties in life. Those that are hurting today. Those that feel lonely. Lord, draw close. Even though everybody else may betray us. Even those, those closest to us may hurt us. Lord, you are faithful. You will never betray us. Your love will never fail. You are my very best friend. You are the one I love more than anyone. We love you, Lord. Let's just stand together. Can we just lift up our hands? And just take some personal time with Jesus. Respond to how the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Ah, let's just talk to the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> អបគុណនៅព្រះបន្ទូដែលរំលឹកយើងព្រះអបគុណនៅព្រះបន្ទូដែលដែលដែលប្រោះឲ្យយើងជាសាសបាយអបគុណនៅព្រះបន្ទូ